Back in April, when we were all stuck inside, you know, for quarantine, my wife came over to me and said, hey, Matt, do you want to make an app together? And I was like, huh? Like, that's that's a really weird question. And when your wife asks you, like, do you want to make an app together? You just jump on that. Like, to give a little bit of a background, she's she's an artist, right? She she does drawings for a living. So I would do the programming and she would do the uh, drawing. So there was, you know, several concepts floating around, um, you know, we really like this best of entertainment pack you might have played as a kid. Games like Ski Free and Chips Challenge and Rodent's Revenge and uh, Mahjong. But what we ultimately settled on was doing this game called Pipe Dream. Okay, so Pipe Dream. I don't know if anyone's played this game before, but I hope you have. It's really, really fun. So what happens is the some fluid starts coming out of this pipe here, and you have to start placing pieces on the board to make the longest pipe possible or you run out of space, okay? So that's the rules. It doesn't really look like a power app though, right? So question is like, could it be done? And the answer is actually, yeah. Yeah, we kind of figured it out. It's it's pretty cool. So I'm gonna flip over to my actual app now because this isn't my app, this is the original. And this is what we built. So here's Pipe Dream. We've got our little character here, Pete the Plumber. And the concept is, is when when Pete's on the job, you know, he gets a little bit tired sometimes. He falls asleep and he, and he dreams about pipes and uh, making the best pipe network possible. So I'm going to click on play game right here. I'm going to bump it up to level six so it's a little bit funner. And here you can see Pete has gone to sleep and he started to dream. So that means it's time to start uh, building some pipes right here. And it looks like I got a particularly tough challenge here today. I don't know how I'm going to do on this one, but oh my gosh, I'm going to start seeing the water coming out of this start pipe here really, really soon. <laughs> and I better be ready to go. There we go. Okay, so now I've got a little bit of uh, runway here. So there's there's several different types of, uh, you know, pipes on the screen. And they all do kind of different things. So I'm just going to click try again here because I've already lost. It's really <laughs> hard to play a game while you're talking, guys. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever tried that before. <laughs> But uh, but yeah, we've got uh, just you I, know I tried level two, Matt, and I couldn't. So <laughs> <laughs> so there, you can see some special pipes on the screen here as well, like a cross. Like you can you can loop around and and get water in both sections of the cross. You can go to this reservoir here, and that gives you five hundred points instead of the original, like the standard one hundred that's going up right there. Um, if you go through this pump, the water starts going faster, but you get a multiplier, which will, you know, increase your your score even more. And they have these like single direction pipes here as as well. So that means you can only put water in them one way or else you're going to uh, not be able to make it through. OK, so you can kind of see the counters going up over here. And uh, at this point, I'm just throwing tiles on the board because I'm kind of nervous playing this game. So <laughs> but it's uh, it's just, just a lot of fun. Like I said, all the graphics in this game were made by my wife, who is in who's a little bit of an artist there. Um, so, so none of this stuff is is off Google or anything like that. We we made this game together. I did the programming, and she um, she did the art. Okay, so can anybody guess how this is made? <laughs> it's not really obvious to tell, right? Because it doesn't really follow the traditional power apps kind of, you know. Uh, formula there. So I'm going to go over to my prototype, which I don't know if I've shared this before. And I'm going to show you uh, what we did before all these fancy graphics were installed. Okay, so this is actually the original game before I, I put the graphics in. And there are, you know, maybe about 60 different tiles on the board here. They're all components, Power Apps Canvas components. And they just have a little property that allows you to change which tile is currently being uh, displayed. OK, so when I click this play button right here, it's going to throw a bunch of random starting tiles on the board. And I'm just going to show you. They kind of pop up like a, a Jeopardy board. And I've written it in such a way that they're random. And they're never going to conflict with one another, You know, making it so you can't possibly you know, play a, a good, strong game there that's, that's fun. OK? Um, I'm going to turn on a little bit of another setting in, in the background here, show you my secret uh, debug and sauce. 
I'm going to turn this to true. You might wonder how does it choose or know where it can place uh, something on the board. And now you can see all of these these letters in these tiles because behind this fun looking game is actually this super nifty huge collection. It's like a big spreadsheet full of data. It's like I made working on a spreadsheet fun or something like that. <laughs> so when I click the the play button, you can see okay, this is where I can put the tiles with the you know the the possible entrances. That's what these letters are showing. And then when the game actually starts, and I start placing tiles on the board. You can see, okay, so I got a left and a right here, so that matches. So, you know, when it goes over to the next tile, you'll know you can, you know, kind of complete it. And yeah, that's what it kind of looks like uh, in the background. So, just one more, one or two more things here, because we are uh, working with components. Uh, like one of the challenges is, okay, so I got this water flowing inside there. It's really just a label that expands, you know, over time using a timer. But how do I make the water jump over to the next component? Because components are self-contained, uh, right? What happens inside a component stays inside a component unless you use a toggle. Okay, so I'll just show you what that looks like really, really quickly. And I'm going to go to the hidden section of my Power App. That's how you know this is for debugging. And I'm just going to turn this to, to true. And now when I go over to the other screen here, hopefully this works out. Oh my gosh, we're seeing something strange here. So we'll see if we can do this today. If not, that's cool too. But we're just going to go to visible and click on true and see what we see. This might be a little bit overwhelming. Oh yeah, there's just way too much stuff going on here. I don't know what's kind of happening now. So, uh, yeah. So now some really interesting, weird kind of stuff going on right here. When the when the game starts, just what I want you to look at when it crosses over to the next tile is just like look at this little toggle right here, and it's going to start any moment. It's going to start in like ten seconds, and then it goes or up there and it goes blink. And it goes uh, blink, and this toggle over here kind of fires. And what that does is it takes the information inside the, you know, that particular component, and it feeds it back into the spreadsheet and says, "Hey, next tile, maybe you should start doing your animation," and kind of so on and so on and, and so forth. And so this thing is just really a, a mess to look at, but it's how I how I debugged everything. Uh, this is the this is really the main game here and what everybody sees. But I just wanted to take a moment to show everybody uh, just kind of you know, how the magic happens and kind of behind the scenes. Really hard to explain. So hopefully the visual uh, helped a little bit. Hey, this is so awesome. I have a question. How long did it take you and your wife to build this? Um, so it took us three weekends. So I, sp I spent two weekends, you know, when my daughter was napping or, or in bed in the evenings doing it. And then my wife took one weekend to do all of the art. And then it was just like really quickly to throw in over top of that prototype I showed you. Yeah, I think I had to go babysit my daughter myself for for, for a day and a half just so she could get it all done. <laughs> yeah, this is so cool. And uh, if if uh, you can't even tell it's power up. Yeah, that was kind of the kind of the hope because, you know, my wife doesn't really know much about power apps other than, you know, when I'm yakking about it. So. You know, our goal is just to create an app, and uh, I think that's kind of the highest compliment you could pay. So thank you very much. Give her major kudos to her graphics skills. She's really good. <laughs> I will. I if wish you, you guys make a great team. Today. Her graphics and, and your power-up skills, this is awesome. This is the uh, only project we've ever done together because uh, I just I don't like to ask her for her time. She's been drawing all day, and, uh, yeah, I like to keep it light in the evenings. So. <laughs> oh, you guys could yeah. do really well in business together, just saying. <laughs> send, hey, Matt, send some clients my way. Oh, sorry. Um, okay. I, I'm curious. Did you obtain the code to the the pipe dream game and and look at that on how the logic went for any of that under the hood, or did you just observe it and then take notes and figure out your own logic? Oh no, um, I would not have the the you know the foggiest idea how to get into the guts of the original pipe dream game. We just we just looked at it. Gotcha. And kind of did it out on paper and what are all the things we need to do and uh, and then we kind of got to it just like you would plan um, any other power apps project yeah 
Um, Very cool. That makes it even neater, in my opinion, because you it's not like you had a, a reference card that you could look at and say, am I doing this right? Yeah. And to be honest, we didn't know it was even going to work. I think the first weekend was just prototyping, like, can we actually do this? And then I was like, OK, uh, you can start those graphics because I feel pretty good that it's going to be possible. Nice. So what's your high score? Um, I don't know what my high score is, but I don't know. <laughs> Sancho's on the call. He's made it all the way through levels one through ten because there's ten levels and made got like a couple million. So, um, <laughs> That's yeah. Cool. Maybe you could set up some uh, Azure Blob storage for a global leaderboard or something. I'd love to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe so someday. Four cents a gig per month. Not hard. <laughs> that's uh, that's not bad at all. <laughs> no, no, not too. That's awesome. Thanks. So I throw in the link there in the chat for everybody who wants to download it and uh, take take a look at it. And uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. So show it to your kids. And thanks for having me on the show. You're welcome. Thanks for bringing it and showing it to us and making it and sharing it and all that good stuff. Thank you.